Okay, this is my 15th different, fifteenth time I'm trying to explain sigma notation, so hopefully this time it's clear. Here we have a sequence. It's a very simple sequence, and the sequence is defined by a n equals 2 n plus 1. That's the formula that defines this sequence. So in our first, that's a 1. That's a 2, that's a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, a 7, a 8, a 9, and a 10. So there are 10 uh, terms in this sequence. a 5 is 11, a 8 is 17, okay? So uh, a 8 is 2 times 8 plus 1, so it's 17. So this is a formula then that defines this sequence. Uh, but it only goes up to 21 in this case. Now if I wanted to sum these, let's say I wanted to add these up, maybe this is uh, the amount of money that came in um, after some advertising campaign or something and we want to add all these things together. Well we put in a plus sign, plus sign, plus sign, plus sign, we add it all up and we get a great big number. That's a lot of space and it would be nice if we can take all of this information and show it in some kind of shortened notation. And that's all that sigma notation is. And so what sigma notation does is it takes a look at what's the first term that you're going to add up. And it's all about adding this stuff, by the way. So if we're going to add up all of these, what's the first term you're going to add to, and what's the last term you're going to add up to? And what's the formula here that defines A to the N? And so if we know these things, these things with the arrows, we put a sigma up, and a sigma looks like this. It's a Greek letter, the forerunner of the S. You can kind of see an S happening in there. It looks like an E, but forget that, it's a sigma. So on the top, we put the term that the summation ends with, the tenth term, okay? And down here, we put the term that the summation begins with and for some reason we say n equals 1 so n equals 1 to 10 or the first term to the tenth term and then over here on the right we put the formula that shows how we calculate it in this case it's 2 n plus 1 okay, and this gives us all the information you see up there in that little notation so if we didn't want to add all of these up, if, only, if we only want to add up a portion of this, maybe the fourth through the eighth term, if we wanted to do this, we would write it slightly differently. We would put in the sigma. It was the same formula to calculate it. But instead, we would only go n equals 4 to 8. And that shows us it's only that portion that we're adding up. And that, we would say, equals 9 plus 11 is 20, 33, 48, 65. Okay, so from the fourth term to the eighth term using this formula to calculate. So, if you understand that, or even if you don't, you should try to do exercise 5 on page 346.